Chapter 8 Historical Research What is historical research is does not have the rigor of such research methods as experimental and survey methods. Nature and Value of Historical Research As used by the Greek history meant an inquiry designed to reconstruct past events and in a sense historical research can still be defined as a scholarly attempt to discover what has happened. Chronology represents the first step in the process of historical research and provides material or data for the steps to follow. Chronology has two dimensions. The one dimension is historical time or the chronology which takes into account the spacing of events and patterns. The second dimension is historical space or where events occurred geographical location. Importance of historical research to librarianship. Historical research can contribute to the body of knowledge about librarianship. It can increase our understanding of how, when, and why past events occurred, and it can expand our appreciation of the significance of the events. Types of historical research. There are six different types of historical research or documentary study. Biographical research, histories of institutions and organizations, the investigation of sources and influences, editing and translating historical documents, studying the historical of ideas, and compiling bibliographies. The extent to which these different types are employed depends on the nature of the inquiry and the subject field, whether they are represent through historical research or the mere compilation of facts depends on the manner in which they are conducted. Sources of historical information. The data gathered in historical research can come from a wide variety of sources. Among the more commonly used are the following official records such as laws, deaths, annual reports of organization, charters, and so on, newspapers and other periodicals, eyewitness accounts of events, archives, manuscripts, letters and personal diaries, biographies, autobiographies, and memoirs, historical studies, literacy writings, oral evidence, memorials, catalogs, schedules, agendas, and so on. Written sources of historical information can be categorized as either primary documents and secondary documents. Primary sources represent the data which lie closest to the historical event. They are considered testimony of eyewitnesses. Secondary sources have written about the past or second-hand sources may be considered virtually everything not viewed as primary everything written in the past include textbooks or secondary sources. External criticism is done to determine if a source is in fact provides authentic primary data, are the author, the place, and the data of writing what they purport to be. External criticism may be used interchangeable with textual criticism and usually takes into account the provenance or origin of the document, while internal criticism is generally more challenging than external criticism, and it too is often difficult, if not impossible, to achieve with absolute certainty. Many old documents no longer exist in their original forms. The basic steps of historical research: the historian examines a source. A group of sources relevant to his or her interest and in shock whatever is of value, allowing the content of the source to determine the nature of the inquiry. 
but there seems to be a consensus that historical research generally should meet the the same criteria and following the same procedures as the other basic methods of scientific research. In other words, historical research tends to involve the following steps. Identification of a problem of historical significance. Collection of background information literature review of the secondary sources. Formulation of a hypothesis when possible. Gathering of evidence or data including verification of the authenticity of the primary sources and the validity and reliability of their contents, organization and analysis of the pertinent data, more often qualitative than quantitative, interpretation of findings or the drawing of conclusions. In short, true historical research tends to resemble a scientific method of inquiry or a problem-oriented approach. The hypothesis in historical research. The use of hypothesis in historical research helps to increase the objectivity of the study and minimize researcher bias. The hypothesis provides a basis for considering various factors in relation to one another and for synthesizing them into a generalization or conclusion that puts their overall significance in focus. Collecting the data. Many such documents are housed in archives which have developed arrangement and description techniques that differ from those of libraries and that historians should be well versed in how to identify and access archival collections. The presentation of findings. The researcher should take care to be objective and to preserve intellectual honesty and in this not to suggest that historical researchers are more prone to partiality than others, but to serve as a reminder that historical research is often rather subjective in nature and thus relatively susceptible to researcher bias. Library History Its major form consists of the traditional library, but it also includes the history of any activity or event that might be part of the domain of library and information science. Bocha and Harter note that library or group of libraries as well as to be social and economic impacts of libraries on their communities. Bibliographical research that takes the form of descriptive bibliography certainly comes closer to being true research than the systematic or enumerative bibliography. The latter is not even considered to be true bibliographical research. Systematic bibliography Persons involved in the compilation of systematic or urinative bibliographies are concerned with the book and other materials as an intellectual entity. Their purpose is to assemble information about individual works into a logical and useful arrangement. The results are one of the following compilation or last universal bibliogra bi bibliography. A bibliography that includes everything published or issued in a subject field regardless of date of publication. National Bibliography, a bibliography that lists everything published and possibly distributed in a given country. Trade Bibliography, a bibliography compiled primarily to aid the book trade by supplying information as to what books are in print or for sale, when, where, and by whom they were published and their price. Subject Bibliography A bibliography that lists material relating to a specific topic. Descriptive Bibliography A more succinct found in the Oxford English Dictionary defines bibliography as the systematic description and history of books. An important function of descriptive bibliography is to describe the ideal copy or primary document and its variants. This process can be broken down into more specific bibliographical research including the following. Analytical bibliography which is considered with a physical description of the book in order to determine the details of the physical process of its manufacturing. 
textual bibliography which focuses on certain textual variations between manuscript and the print printed book or among various editions. It is more concerned with the author's words than with physical effects of book. Historical bibliography which deals with the identification of original editions and placing and dating of individual books. Problems in historical research Other problems in historical research and criteria for evaluating historical research can be drawn from the general research guidelines, guidelines discussed earlier in this work.